me? Did you pack? The, remember the poop bag? Oh, okay. I'm Jones. like, I always have poop bags with me, but I have two dogs. Well, okay, so, okay. That's like, what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying you, constantly, you, yeah. you want to follow that up with having two dogs. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's just a normal day for me. <laughs> Just in time for spring break. You want this? Yes, I, I do. Fresh popcorn right now. I want it. Yeah, Getty Drive-In in, in uh, Muskegon opens this Friday. Oh, my gosh. Already I it's know. here. The oh. Getty opened in 1944. Do the math. That's 80 years. That's pretty amazing. summer movie going. Been out there numerous times. It does have that old school nostalgic vibe, you know, coupled with digital production. The picture's great. The sound yeah. is great. It comes through your FM signal, not the old AM, right? In addition to double features of new movies, the Getty is also offering $5 classic movies this summer, and they're opening up with Twister. And uh, Twister is a great one to see outdoors. Okay. Because those shots of the tornado coming at sure. you when you're outside, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like there's actually a tornado right, coming at yeah, you. Yeah, it's kind of cool. <laughs> this Friday, the first 50 cars, by the way, opening day, is going to receive a free Getty drive in sticker and a Your Choice Our Treat coupon to get a free treat at the new concession stand. Gates open at 715. Get there early, get a good spot. I love it. All right, big congratulations going out to two local students who spelled their way to the top. They are now headed to national competition. Joshua Deocaris is now a two-time winner of the Greater Grand Rapids Spelling Bee. This eighth grader from Ridge Park Academy spelled the word diluent correctly, D-I-L-U-E-N-T. Good job, you Dilute. win. You just won. I read it off the screen. Oh, you lose. You yeah, I did. Right. I had to look up how to pronounce it. Um, beat out 17 students from Kent, Ottawa, Allegan, and Barrie counties. He also won in back in 2022. Kalamazoo County's Carter Tothill. He will join him after spelling linguistics in his competition. The eighth grader from Millwood Magnet School says he loves to read and is a self proclaimed proclaimed huge bookworm. Both young men will be headed to the Scripps National Spelling Bee. It's a huge event organized by our parent company. That's coming up at the end of May near Washington, D.C. Good luck to them. Good luck. Go, Michigan. Diluent. Diluent. Something that dilutes things. Yes. I looked it up. I know, I know you did. <laughs> I know you did. Come on down. Woo! Price yeah. is right. It's live and it's coming to Grand Rapids. <laughs> coming back, I should say. It's been here before. Drew Carey, no, he's not going to be here. But all the Price is Right fun will be. It's happening on September 18th at DeVos Performance Hall starting at 730 Alongside the live show's celebrity host, randomly selected contestants get to come on down and play everyone's favorite games like Plinko, Cliffhanger, The Big Wheel, and even the fabulous Showcase Showdown. It even gets better. Even if you don't get called down, members in the audience can mm. even win prizes right from their seats. Tickets go on sale this Friday. That's why we're talking about it. Get your tickets March 29th, starting at 10 a.m. I love it. Well, the Sioux Locks, they are officially open for the season. The Joseph L. Block was the first ship through the Polock late last week. This clearly was not the video from there because <laughs> it looks real nice right now. Opening the navigation season a few days ahead of schedule. Now, the Polock was rebuilt and expanded in 1969. It's 1,200 feet long, 110 feet wide. It is the only only lock that can handle the Great Lakes' largest freighters. Construction continues on a third lock at the site. The now defunct Sabin lock will be rebuilt to match the Poe lock. There are three phases of construction. Phase two scheduled to finish this coming summer. Phase three, though, that's going to take the longest, tentatively scheduled to be done by summer of 2030. Wow. But it's a big deal because, yeah. man, that's, that's a very, very busy shipping sure, channel. Yeah. And it's so fun to see the, see the ships come through. Yeah, people like to go just to go ship watching. Yes, yeah. go, go ship. It is the best. You wanted to make a happy little bush? But let's put a happy little tree. Happy little happy tree. Happy little bush. That's Bob Ross, the painter. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Put down the paintbrush and pick up the pace. All right. Bob Ross's happy little virtual 5K is coming. It's a happy little 5K. In April, you can run, you can walk, you can roll. Uh, your way to support tree planting and forest protection efforts in state parks. Now, participation is open to all. Registrants can complete their 5K anywhere outdoors, on foot, by bike, skate, paddle. You just use a mobility device anytime between Earth Day, April 22nd, and Arbor Day, April 26th. Participants receive a keepsake t-shirt, a commemorative bib number, and the Bob Ross inspired finisher's medal. Look at that. Hey, glorious hair. Head yes. to, <laughs> to go to run sign up to register. And Bob Ross inspired program now in its fifth year continues to expand with nine other states expanding. It's a like, big deal. I did this one uh, did you? first year of COVID. Yeah, I, I ran for the trees, did my little 5K around the neighborhood and hugged a tree and got Perfect. my nice little Bob Ross medal at home. Yeah.